Hi friends, welcome back to channel SciTechCare. In this video, I'm going to compare the iQOO 6 device versus iQOO 7 device. Which phone is really the best option to buy right now? So right now, friends, in the Amazon website, there is a uh, sale going on in the iQOO 7 device, so which did release recently. And I'm getting so many comments asking me to compare with the iQOO 6 as well. So which is the best phone to buy? In this video, let's discuss few categories which phone is clear winner regarding the best phone performance. So first thing is that regarding the price. So when it comes to the price, the iQOO Neo 7 is offered about 28,499 as you can see and iQOO Neo 6 can get up to 3000 rupees discount after this kind of offer. So overall the price will be around 26,999 rupees. So 26,999 on the iQOO Neo 6 and 28,499 on the iQOO Neo 7. So far if you try to keep this price into the consideration, then definitely the iQOO Neo 6 slightly kind of less price but that's a uh, because of the iQOO Neo 6 which has got the Snapdragon 870 processor and whereas the iQOO Neo 7 which has got the Dimensity 8200 processor in this device that's something slightly highlight regarding the performance wise but in terms of the 90 fps the Badagon's mobile game and the PUBG is supported only in the iQOO Neo 6 still in the iQOO Neo 7 the game is not optimized but I was able to play the Call of Duty in the highest graphics without any issues and even the PUBG new state also 90 fps is supported in the iQOO Neo 7 but if you are playing the PUBG and the Badagon's mobile game iQOO Neo 6 90 fps is working absolutely fine and next thing is about the another thing regarding the camera so camera also there is no wide angle lens in the iQOO Neo 7 device that's slightly disadvantage not having the wide angle lens so in the iQOO Neo 6 they do have the wide angle lens in the iQOO Neo 6 device but not in the iQOO Neo 7 device so the iQOO Neo 6 has got wide angle lens advantage along with that uh, 90 fps in the PUBG and the Badagon mobile game so other than that the battery time taken to charge is about close to 25 minutes of time 50 percentage in 10 minutes is exactly as it is i'm getting the charging speed without any issues as well in the iqoo neo 7 device so regarding the overall heating when it comes to the temperature and the heating while gaming the snapdragon 870 will be able to handle pretty much good regarding the consistent maintaining low temperatures than the dimensity 8200 and the iqoo neo 7 has got the 8 plus 8 gb of external ram and iqoo neo 6 has got 8 plus 4 gb of external ram That's slightly highlight here and iQOO Neo 7 has got some kind of new type of motion control gestures. I did upload the separate videos on that motion control gestures. So make sure to check out my channel as well, SciTech Guru. And also don't forget to check the playlist videos of the iQOO Neo 7 device for more updates on this iQOO Neo 7 smartphone. But overall, this is a quick comparison, guys, between these both phones. In case if you want uh, the wide angle lens camera and if you want 90 FPS support, the iQOO Neo 6 will be the good option. So, but overall, the price is really very good for the iQOO Neo 7 device. At this moment, offering 5000 mAh of battery, very good regarding the battery backup as well, and fast charging also. So, for this kind of price range. So, meanwhile, signing off, friends. Thank you for watching. And then, straight up for more updates. And iQOO Neo, iQOO Neo 7 has got more 5G bands also. That's also advantage in this device. And then, stay tuned. Signing off, and bye.